the Hathors of Earth's solar astral planes, karmic acceleration, exposure of tyranny and understanding channels. August 30th, 2013 channeled through Wesanak. The minds and hearts of the awakening humanity are expanding more rapidly than we could possibly communicate, though of course, despite the rapid nature of your ascension it's still a progressive and steady one that sees you grow and learn in increments, which have been discussed by other sources. We are excited at the prospect of beginning to communicate with you much more directly as you open up and expand your channels to the incredible heights many of you are learning to, and we can say with happiness that your ability to bring through our impressions will only increase as much as your ability to perceive of and understand us and the realms we exist in. We're so very excited for humanity to open up to the reality of our existence and our immense desire to reconnect with you in very direct ways, because we all, as a united body of assistance for the earth, have so very much to offer you. It's important to be opened up to the idea of our existence if you wish for an uninhibited connection to be found with us, because we'll only funnel our impressions to those who willingly ask for them. We seek not to overwhelm humanity or the awakening light worker public in any way, and if any soul becomes uncomfortable with absorbing our impressions or channeling our energies through and makes such discomfort clear, will happily detach our energies from theirs and eventually greet them again after your earth has ascended. Acceleration of Karma Your populace specifically is in need of collective ascension, and Gaia has existed in the fifth dimension for quite a long amount of your concept of time. Each of you can make active attempts to connect with and feel the energies of the fifth dimensional earth you're building and growing toward in every moment. The veils between you and the higher dimensions continue to be torn down with each alignment you pass through, and as we give this message at the end of the month of August, humanity still has many important celestial alignments and configurations to pass through that'll see your power truly unhindered. Dear Scribe, we note the thousands of tiny personal revolutions as you've termed them, that you've been receiving in the past few days of your time. We ask you to expect many more unfolding aspects of yourselves to be made known and the overhaul many of you are experiencing will continue until you find yourselves glimmering examples of spiritual beings who've done the most difficult life path work. You're reaching the end of your karmic contract individually and collectively, and this means that karma will accelerate exponentially for you, dear souls. We note that some of you feel yourselves to be experiencing nearly instant karmic reactions to what you sow for yourselves to experience, and specifically, the negative karma you manifest is being sent back to you with much more rapidity than it previously has. This is because of your aforementioned closing karmic contract, and because it's essential for you to experience and transmute any bit of remaining residue accumulated from your dense earthly experiences and the effects they can have upon you at times. Recognizing the density prevalent on your earth is important to understanding why some of you feel your mood or vibration to be dragged down at times. It's important to remember that you're transmuting the dense energies given out by the collective as a whole, and when you can remember this you can find equilibrium in the face of a bad mood or a low vibration seeming not to want to leave you. Balance and Collective Energy Transmutation You're pioneers of bringing the light energies through and expressing them for your collective to benefit from, and you've recently taken on the much greater task of transmuting the dense energy of others in massive ways. To be quite truthful, the effect this has had on the light worker public has been much less detrimental than it could have been and you've largely been able to maintain your balance and continue to find the light energies despite the heavier weight that's been added to the backs of many of you. Those of you who specifically signed up for transmuting the collective's dense energies have been given the bulk of difficult energy to process and transmute nearly every day, though your lives are planned out in a way that makes allowance for the fact that energetically, you simply need to rest at times. You're coming to find an uninhibited line of connection to the higher dimensions, and the more you make your efforts to perceive of the higher realms and connect with us souls happily existing here, the more fulfilled your experiences will begin to become. You'll find your hearts opening and expanding in an exponentially rapid manner, and you'll find your experiences lighten up as your wholeness with the existence around you grows to unprecedented heights. This is all being divinely guided and led, and your deepened perception of the metaphysical realms has always been meant to herald a collective establishment of a society in alignment with the ideal of each citizen. The pure light energies many of you are unlocking within naturally lead one to question everything that's been hidden, 
and the prevalent corruption and tyranny present in your government and financial institutions among many others will be fully exposed because such exposure is an ordained facet of humanity's growth into purer fourth-dimensional planes. Our main task is to serve you. The fourth dimension will herald exposure of everything that's been hidden for darkly inclined reasons, and while there could be some difficulty along the way of surfacing such exposure on an individual and collective level, the result will be humanity's building of a full-on galactic society, built by and for each one of you. Your restoration into full consciousness is being brought about by you, but the company of heaven has and will continue to assist you as we wish for you to reach the states of consciousness we've been able to. Our main task is to serve you, the awakening humanity, and to help you serve the rest of your populace who will become open to the existence of the spiritual realms and the activities of those who've used money and power to keep you in the dark for generations. Exposure will come about, and will largely be driven by the actions of the awakening public. Already, so many souls have stepped to the forefront of the collective consciousness to offer revelations concerning the cabals, and we ask you to continue paying attention to exposures regarding the surveillance activities of the American NSA, the British GCHQ and the spy agencies of plenty of other countries, some of which haven't yet had their activities exposed. An entire, strong network of lies and half-truths has been fashioned around your society, and those who've suppressed your history will be held accountable for what they've done as humanity is subsequently informed of what they've suppressed. A great sense of liberation and freedom will result, and prosperity will flow like water to every nation, every family and every person. Humanity will find the importance of establishing widespread unity, and the harmony you'll breed and spread will see you easily and happily working together to bring your planet into the light in every way. The re-engineering of your cities will perhaps be the biggest feat for you to perform, but you will be assisted by your personal and collective drive to enact widespread and positive change on your world. You will also be assisted with technologies given by us and others, and the widespread disclosures you will be given regarding such technologies will see you able to understand and utilize them. Cabal Exposure, a Collective Clearing Event Humanity will be able to fully utilize the potential of the technologies we'll offer and will be able to benefit incredibly from the inspiration you gain to help build a new world. There could be some catalytic difficulty along the way of exposing the darkness that's laid dormant in your collective consciousness, and beyond the transmutation of much of humanity's dense energy, exposure of the dark's activities will serve as an immense clearing event for your collective. So very much will be revealed that you wouldn't perhaps expect and we ask you with love to brace yourselves for much greater and more flowing insights and revelations than you've been given thus far. The light energies have largely made their way back to your planet, and the exposures coming about as a result have truly only begun and could leave humanity quite overwhelmed and even exhausted at times. Each bit of work you perform will be for the greater good of your collective and those of you who are particularly keen on spreading peace and unity will pioneer helping your collective to do just that. It could be difficult for some to establish unity and peace with those they've perceived themselves to be different from, but in the end, humanity will have come together despite everything that's been played upon in your culture that teaches you to think you're separate or different from each other in any way. Indeed you're not, and we know that an ever-increasing number of earthy souls can feel this. Unity, prosperity, abundance and well-being will be established for every soul on your planet and you'll find yourselves very fulfilled and satisfied with yourselves and the experiences you'll have from here on out. Those of you working already at the forefront of the light worker consciousness will perhaps expand your roles even more than you already have, and we anticipate many stepping up in the time ahead to help inform your collective about specific facets of your evolution into full consciousness. Working fruitfully behind the scenes Your evolution is coming about in a collective manner, and this isn't the norm for the ascension of most planets. A certain quotient must be reached before the collective energies can resonate with the frequency of the fifth dimensional energies you'll be constantly absorbing and assimilating to create the reality you'll find around you, and at present, the collective is still largely feeding into the mechanisms of separation and unawareness that would only keep you situated upon a lower vibration forever if allotted. We and so many others, along with you awakened souls scattered about in various different places on your earth, 
have been working fruitfully behind the scenes on your return to full consciousness and on the awakening of your collective in time for the most potent events related to your ascension. You're beginning to reach heightened energies that will allow for the presence of such energetic events, and in the face of the vastly purer energies you're entering into and the metaphysical events they'll cause that humanity will be dazzled to witness, we ask the light workers to continue their energy work as much as possible. There's so very much for you to experience that'll help initiate you into the higher dimensions as a collective, and we trust in the light workers and in humanity as a collective's ability to put an end to separation and hatred and see your populace feed into the pure energies of harmony and love that will lead you onward. We ask for you to enjoy the journey and seek the destination in healthy and balanced manners. Understand that you're growing back toward the higher dimensions in every sense, and that you don't have to be separated from these realms or from us as many of you tend to convince yourselves you are. Nothing about your existence on the earth says you have to deny the higher dimensions or otherwise not perceive of them, only you allow yourselves to believe that the veils between your world and the higher dimensions are too thick. Understanding Channeled Communications Indeed they're not, and at this stage they can be practically seen through as ever more souls embrace the higher dimensions and all that comes with them. The higher dimensions and the existence of us souls in these dimensions will be widely disclosed on your world in the time ahead, and the communications we've been offering for so long will come to be understood by your collective as aspects of the assistance we wish to give you along your ascension. Messages from us and many others published to your internet that have only been viewed by a certain segment of the light worker public will be opened up to as it's understood that we very actively communicate with humanity in an effort to reach you and help you grow back toward our realms. Previous ridicule or mock will give way to open-minded understandings about the reality of the assistance we've given for so long. Indeed, we're not lower-oriented beings looking to gain humanity's energy by fixating you on us or our communications. If the messages of any channeled being don't resonate for any reason, we wholeheartedly recommend seeking what works best for you as an individual and fashioning the purest connection to your inner realms that you can fashion. Every one of you can open up and channel brimming communications from the higher dimensions, and upon allowing yourselves to believe that this contact can indeed be real, you'll find excited contact from us or from whoever you wish to open up to. As examples of the diversity one can pick up on when becoming open to a higher dimensional connection, we'd like to go against the usual flow of our messages to allow two different collectives to come in and offer short condolences. The Ascended Masters Peak Greetings my dear children, I am Shua speaking for the Ascended Master Collective. We and so many others have been watching and listening as the dear Hathers have given their words and impressions, and we too seek to let you know that we are and have always been here, waiting for you to open up to us in any way you can. We're all here for you, dearest souls, and many of us have went as far as to incarnate on your earth in many different lifetimes to reach your collective. Why, then? would we choose not to communicate with you from the spiritual realms? We've done absolutely everything we can to reach humanity and to help you understand the reality of your existence, and in doing so, we've become very close with you. We wish you to know that we're not going anywhere, and your ability to pick up on us will continue to increase. The Pleiadians speak. With loving thanks to Joshua, I am Sanjuska speaking for the Pleiadian High Council, the Council of Nine and our General Council. You're, currently, speaking with millions of Pleiadian souls, and I am representing them as we seek to let you know of the love we possess for you, as well as your ability to pick up on our impressions and those of every soul and collective in the higher dimensions. Your ability to reach the higher dimensions and various ascended entities and collectives is much stronger than you've been led to believe, and you'll find yourselves able to pick up on and understand much deeper and more intricate impressions as you broaden your telepathic abilities. Continue to practice channeling the higher dimensions and the pure energies you're being given in any way you wish, because we too will remain here for every one of you. The Hathors conclude, With thanks to the Pleiadians and the Ascended Masters, we express that there are so many more collectives you can pick up on. We'll conclude this communication at this point so as not to tire out our scribe, with the reminder that your perception of the realms of full consciousness can only be affirmed by you. Some may attempt to discredit one's perception of the higher dimensions or the many wondrous things that can result, but you've each incarnated with the knowledge of your personal godhood and divinity, 
and can shine in any and every moment. Thank you to the Hathers of Earth's solar astral planes, as well as the Ascended Masters and the Pleiadians.